right here on the Double RT Boxing Show. That's when you tuned in. I am Mr. A. Let's get into it. We are talking the Cruiserweight, the WBA, regular champion, the world champion. You guys are like, how many fucking belts is there? Never enough. It's fucking boxing. Promote every fighter. Get them up the ladder and then let them fight, you know? The best fight the best. Half the people don't give a fuck because they only know about four fighters in each division. So, you know, how do the best fight the best? We discover who the best. You know, you get 15 fighters, let them duke it out, and then you find out who the best is the best. When you only know four fighters, you don't know who the fuck the best is. So right here on the Double RT Boxing Show, we break down the other guys. We let them get a chance at being the best. And right now we are talking cruiserweight champion world WBA World Cruiserweight Champion Arsene Gulamirian taking on Mark Flanagan. You know, let them be the opportunity to prove them the best. You know, when it comes to the rankings, you know, we talk cruiserweight, and I'm pretty sure if you go on uh, the average person, you're talking about, hey, you want to talk some cruiserweights? You know, they're going to say, they're going to be like, oh, Usyk. Hey, he's a great guy to know, but hey, there's other ones out there. There's other ones. You know, Usyk is the best. But, you know, there's got to be competition for his punk ass. You know, even though he's a fucking great guy, he's not a punk ass. Dude, I like I like Usyk a lot. I like that motherfucker a lot. Dude can fight. Dude can motherfucking fight. I, I believe he's more powerful than what his pity pat punches are. But with his feet, you don't need him. But anyway, back to what we're talking about. We're talking Arsene Gulama- Gulamarian who is the WBA ranked number one, regular regular champion, you know, and then you have better, wait, is he the interim champion? Yeah, no, he's the, he's the world, he's the world champion of do with the B name is the the crew the intern I believe. So we're gonna go with uh, Shumanov as the intern I believe. Yeah. So we're taking on this is a battle between the world champion number one taking on number ten Mark Flanagan. Now Mark Flanagan is let's see where he's ranked at. Let's see where he is ranked at besides the WBA folks. And according to the box uh, boxing scenes records this is strictly a wba uh ladder climb for mark flanagan not just a ladder climb him motherfuckers trying to be champ trying to be champ folks taking on arson arson is a uh, from the fight this is gonna be the second time arson is covered on this this show you know so we are familiar who arson and we are familiar who mark flanagan so this was a nice little fight didn't have to go research him I knew exactly what the hell they were. I like that about the Double RT Boxing Show. Like I said, I created this as a boxing fan, and I was just like you. For most of you, like, who the fuck are these people? And slowly by slowly, I start watching them, start watching them for the hell of it, start getting it up in the noodle, start remembering these people. Like, oh shit, boxing's even better than what I thought it was. Worldwide love. Boom, boom, worldwide love on the Double RT Boxing Show. Hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, become part of the audience. It's your show, I'm just a host. Let me be the host of your show. Come on, let's do it. Let's let's join. Let's join forces. You be the audience. I be the host. Put the thumbs up. Spread it around. Follow the show on Twitter at RRTV Show. Because this is where the boxing's at. More than just four fighters that we talk about per daily. You know, the Arsenal's taking on Mark Flanagan. Mark Flanagan's going to have the better feet movement in this fight. He has the... I, I give him the better feet. He's uh, for the cruiserweight. He's able to shift directions shift in and out uh arson is last i knew he's trained by abel sanchez so you know what abel sanchez fighter is they come forward gas uh i think what's that little lightweight guy uh alex sacido i think he trains him um triple g gas of and that's that's basically what um arson gulamarine is He's a mixture of a uh, gas of triple G, a little watered down, mix him in the cups, stir, stir him around. It just he doesn't jab as much as triple G, and he doesn't throw as much as Gasif, but he probably throws as much as Gasif in the Yusuf fight. <laughs> I mean, in the Yusuf fight. So 
that's what it is. He catches punches on the forearm. He hooks, he hooks. He just doesn't jab as much. But he's basically a, a gassive. He, he's a, he's a, he's a, a lower-tier gassive with a little bit of Triple G. Your typical Abel Sanchez fighter. That's what Arson Gollum are. If, you, if you've seen Gassive fight, if you've seen Triple G fight, close your eyes and you didn't even know you've seen fucking Arson fight. And now, Matty Flanagan, or um, Mark Flanagan, I don't think he hits hard as Arson. I think he has better movement. His, his movement allows him to be better defense. Like I said, he actually slip punches while um, Arson's going to walk and walk you down like Gassip. He doesn't even slip punch like Triple G. He just pure Gassip on the defense, catching on the forearm. You can hit him. So, let's say footwork, defense goes to Maddie, but the offense, offense combinations, punch um, selections, combinations go to um, Flanagan, power and uh, punch selection. Well, he's only hooked, so power goes to Arson. And for Matt, for uh, Flanagan to defeat the champion, he's going to have to have a gas tank. And he's going to have to be able to constantly go around the ring. Just go around the ring and just pop some shots off. Go around the ring. If he gets too close, smother Arson. He's, Arson's easy to beat. He's easy to beat. I just don't know if, if Flanagan's going to have the gas tank. But if he keeps moving and putting some shots on him, he should be able to beat this Arson with a, probably like a split decision. But I'm going to go the opposite way. I'm going to go with the power and the wear down of Arson, even though he gets hit and he doesn't throw enough, I think I think Abel, if he's still trained with Abel, I think Abel's gonna get him to the next level, have him punch more. Because Abel kept keeps trying to tell him in the last fight against um, Marty or Marty, whatever, the fight I seen, like, do you need to throw more jabs? You need to throw more jabs. And if he throws jabs, he sets himself up like Triple G and Gasso. He has he's he has that power to beat the shit out of you if he just sets him up in the right angle. And I think he's gonna be a little better. And I don't think uh, I think he's gonna wear out Flanagan and get a split decision and, be, and remain the WBA World Cruiserweight Champion right here on the Double RT Boxing Show. That is the breakdown, and you had the prediction: Arsen Gulamarian retains the WBA World Cruiserweight Title right here, the Double RT Boxing Show. Ready, ready, talk that box. I'm your host, Mr. A, the host of your show. Thank you for joining the audience. See you on the next one.